Good morning to you all. I'm going to um, start off by having a look at um, subactivity 2BI of COS 1511. Um, I see the lecturers try to help us to understand how arithmetic operations are performed using C++ and so go working through the um, example uh, as well as the ex uh, exercises I found that um, the reason they want you to work through it is so that you can actually understand how the arithmetic operations are performed and I saw it was an, a question in the October November 2015 question 1.1 was asking about uh, specifying brackets for uh, precedence of arithmetic operations so I thought I'd make this video and just give some more insight into what they're trying to teach you here okay so uh, in front of you here you'll see here's my code I've taken this snippet from uh, the, the study guide. The study, it basically the snippet says you should be able to do this activity just from your school arithmetic. Uh, in particular, multiplication and division are done before addition and subtraction and you can use brackets to force things otherwise. Note that we use the forward slash for division. Even if you are fairly sure that your answers are correct, we suggest that you do a subactivity 2BI before you check your answer in the activity solution below it. You might just have to revise some of your answers. <clears throat> what I did was I've made uh, like a short summary list um, and I've called them rules. And what I've done is I've said rule number one says that multiplication and division are first rule number two are brackets are then calculated and rule number three is addition and subtraction are then performed that's from what I can see what is basically happening in most of these activities as you can see here I've already typed out my code I've got my code from this example over here uh, in the study guide from subactivity 2bi and if I execute this code you will see that the answer that appears for this should result in a minus 1 so if I execute it uh, this is my screen and you can see there the result shows as a minus 1 okay so you're welcome to read through the solution. Um, my one, I've based it on basically these rules that I've uh, mentioned over here. And I said that um, you apply rule one, which is uh, the three times four, and that three times four will give you 12. Okay. Then, um, because you've got brackets, that's my second rule. Um, the 2 plus the 12 gives you a 14 and then we revert back to rule 1 where we're saying the, this inside the brackets which is now a result of 14 is divided by 5 and that gives us a answer of 2.8 but as noted here in the, um, in their comments saying a yeah, surprise surprise 14 divide 5 is 2 because we are working with integers and when one integer is divided by another the remainder that is the fraction part is thrown away so one has to remember that although the answer on a calculator gives you 2.8 you're actually dropping the point 8 and you're only left with the value of 2 so if we take that into account that this whole section over here um, adds up to 2 we've got 1 minus 2 which results in our minus 1 and so that was the the crux of um, subactivity 2bi okay if you scroll down further 
they've got um, activity solutions here and I didn't do the activity solutions but I went straight through to exercise 2.1 and I had a look at what they've got specified here um, and here is what I've basically copied from subactivity 2bi and used the same code to go in here so now based on this if I look at um, the rules I'm going to use rule 1 uh, firstly which is my 80 divided by 5 and that gives me an answer of 16 okay I then use the 70 divided by 6 which is still part of rule 1 and that gives me 11.6 to be exact but as we've said before 70 divided by 6 will equal 11 because we're working with integers and when one integer is divided by another the remainder which is the 0.6 part is thrown away okay so if I work out the 16 plus the 11 I get an answer of 27 and just to confirm that that answer is correct I can execute my code and you'll see here on the screen um, it shows a result of 27 which is exactly what we've got okay then I've gone on to um, exercise 2.1 option number two and if I have a look at the sequence of events I'm taking rule three um, as my first uh, rule and I'm saying minus 5 plus minus 4 gives me a minus 9 okay then I'm using that same value and I'm saying a minus 9 minus minus a 3 now in my mind I'm thinking a minus and a minus actually equals a plus and that we learn in multiplication if you multiply a negative by a negative value it gives you a positive so we've got a minus 9 and we're getting a positive 3 so our end result should be a minus 6 and if we build and run this then you can see on my screen here it shows that it's a minus 6 okay so the next uh, exercise is exercise 2 option 3 and how we work through this example is uh, we use the rule number 1 over here which is the 6 multiplied the 7 that gives us an answer of 42 okay then we use the same rule number 1 um, which is division now and we're saying that our 42 divided by 8 um, that gives us 5.25 or 5 and a quarter and remember that 42 divided by 8 is actually equal to 5 because we are working with integers and when one integer is divided by another the remainder the fraction part of 0.25 is thrown away okay so then once I've established that this part of the calculation is 5 I just take my 5 and multiply it by 9 and I get an answer of 45 now let's go and check if our answer is correct and if you have a look on this screen here it'll show you that the answer is 45 okay so the next exercise is exercise 2.1 uh, option 4 and how we tackle that is we use the um, rule 3 first uh, um, yeah rule, rule 1 actually and we multiply the 4 by the 5 or I, I took the 3 divided by 4 sorry the 3 divided by 4 and that gave me a 0.75 and as we as we have identified 
3 divided by 4 is 0 because we are working with integers and when one integer is divided by another the remainder the 0 0.75 is thrown away so then I take the 0 and I multiply it by 5 and 0 multiplied by any number is a 0 so that gives this whole equation a total value of 0 then what you do is you go to rule 3 which is the addition and subtraction rule and you say 1 minus 2 gives you a minus 1 so to check our answer execute the code and you can see that's the answer that we get which is minus 1 okay so the next one is exercise 2.1 uh, option 5 and I have gone with the rule number 1 first and I've taken the 23 divided by minus minus 4 a negative 4 and that gave me an answer of 5 negative 5.75 or negative 5 and 3 quarters okay now as we know 23 divided by negative 4 is going to be minus 5 because we are working with integers and when one integer is divided by another the remainder of 0.75 is thrown away okay so now that we've established that that is uh, minus 5 we can go to rule 3 and we can say minus 1 plus minus 5 gives us a minus 6 and then we continue with uh, rule number 3 and we say uh, minus 6 plus 56 gives us an answer of 50 now to check whether we correct we can execute our code and we have a look here and we can see that the answer is 50 okay so that one checks now we jump into the exciting part which is um, the October November uh, 2015 exam question 1.1 on that question they've given us um, a bit of a different challenge and so what I've done is I've written out um, I've taken this from a sheet of mine that I've composed and I've labeled uh, the operation orders as you can see here one two three four and then underneath them has got each operation that uh, is executed and this is the correct sequence according to the study guide you'll find that at the back of the study guide I think it's in, in the appendix okay so how I've solved that this question which says question 1 and it's 1.1 it says insert brackets to show the order of execution in the following C++ statement so as you can see we've got a 3 multiplied 7 divided by 2 so I would highlight that as my first set of brackets there and then if we have a look at uh, our op order operations you can see there that multiplication division and the percentage sign or yeah percentage sign is part of rule one it all forms the same uh, line and so that that would be my second bracket the two percentage two so if I have a look at the code and I try and work it out I would take the 3 times the 7 which will give me 21 okay then I'll take the 21 and divide that by 2 and that gives me a result of 10.5 but as we know 21 divided by 2 will give us an answer of 10 because we are working with integers and when one integer is divided by another the remainder of 0.5 is thrown away alright so the next 
the next step is to use this order number 12, the 2 percentage 2. I've added it in the see out statement here just so that you can see that 2 percentage 2 equals 0. Alright, and so if we take our result of 10 from this um, brackets over here, we minus it by 4, we will get 6, and we add 0, so we're still left with 6. And if we want to test it, we execute our code, and as I was saying, there's my first C out statement, which is the 2 percentage 2, which just gives us a 0, and the 6, which is the final result. Now remember that this 2 percentage 2 basically means how many times does 2 go into 2, what is the remainder after that, and there's no remainder, so that's why we've got a 0. Alright, so I hope that this helps with just that first part of question 1 of the May of the October November exam for CRS 1511 and I hope that it encourages you guys to work through the exercises um, in the study guide. Thank you very much for watching this video. Goodbye.